Hi, I'm Phil Malone, and I'm here to introduce my project, Hoverboards for Assistive Devices. My project is not about creating a standalone product or program. It's all about providing a new capability or tool that anyone can use to build a specific solution for a specific individual. My mission is to help people achieve freedom of mobility by providing an affordable means to motorize low-cost wheeled devices. My most important demographic is young children who quickly outgrow expensive commercial mobility devices. My goal was to create a modular power drive that could be easily added to any wheeled device to provide greater mobility and independence to someone who either can't afford or is not well suited to a commercial power chair. So why hoverboards? Well, these devices provide the ideal platform to adapt for a range of applications. They're self-contained, they're relatively attractive, they're rechargeable, they're powerful, and yet they're very quiet. Plus, there's an active community of hackers that are already adapting them to their specific needs. But I wanted to make that adaption even easier. This meant designing custom electronics, new software elements, and new mechanical components. I chose a reliable and readily available hoverboard brand and adapted the internal software to support standard control protocol that I've called HUGS for Hoverboard Universal Gateway System. This replaces the self-balancing software that would normally be inside the unit. I then created a custom digital circuit that can be used to accept movement commands from external control devices. These devices can be either hardwired or wireless, and my design works with any generic joystick that uses either switches or potentiometers. I've also developed a hardware mounting system that can be retrofitted to the hoverboard to provide a simple yet robust mounting method. To prove these designs, I've built several prototypes of each component and assembled two demonstration systems, which I'll show you in a minute. My first fully functional prototype uses an adapted hoverboard with a wide joystick to add motor drive to a commercial multi-stander. My next prototype uses an adapted hoverboard with a wireless joystick to turn a child's car seat into a mobile platform. These prototypes provide a glimpse of the possibilities for creating unique custom mobility systems. The same approach can be used to motorize a child's toy, a ride-in car, a stroller, or even a wheelchair. Because my end game is to make these components available to the broader hacker community, I've strived to fully document the components and use easily available free tools for the designs. Now let me illustrate my two prototypes so you can see what I'm talking about, and then I'll show a little bit more of the uh, underlying technology. Thanks very much. For this prototype, I've taken a commercial child stander, removed the casters from the back, and bolted the hoverboard on using the mounting brackets that I've integrated in with the design. It has a wide joystick. I can turn the unit on, and now it responds to basic joystick commands. The speed, power, can be adapted to the needs of the specific child. Also, this joystick is just a commercial unit. It can be replaced by a custom-made handle with buttons. This prototype shows a mobility device built from scratch for a very low cost. This unit uses a commercial car seat, $75, uses the modified hoverboard, $100, and has a frame made out of furniture-grade PVC. This unit has a wireless controller. My circuit has been built into this controller. Normally this would be mounted somewhere on the unit, depending on the child's needs, but you can see that it's also quite mobile. Once again, these can be adapted to any speed, depending on the child's experience and capabilities. Here's a quick look inside. This is one half of the circuit of the wireless interface. The other half is built into whatever joystick control you want to use. This joystick uses potentiometers. This piece is inserted onto the hoverboard. The hoverboard can be turned on. Joystick control enabled. And now it will drive. The other thing to note here is the hardware adaption. This unit has been modified. The internal, internal plastic workings have been taken out. And a plate has been added inside with a captive nut on it to provide two quarter inch bolt holes to be used to mount the, the hoverboard onto a rigid structure.